Hi, welcome to this early September vlog. The weather is kind of all over the place at the moment. We've had a lot of rain, but it's starting to heat up again, which is nice. So um, what I've got to do now while the weather is dry is I've still got to burn some rubbish in the garden. This will be the last time, hopefully, that I do a bonfire. Uh, I think the neighbours are getting a little bit cheesed off every time it's um, a little bit nice out there. I have to burn some stuff, but it's got to be done, so I'm going to have a little uh, burn of the bonfire. Um, also, we'll take a look at the back garden quickly, and then, a bit later on, I'm going to nip to the shops and get myself a scooter. Yeah, um, it's getting so boring commuting to work on the bike. I don't work very far away, I work about, it's about five minutes on the bike, but I just want some uh, little scooter now, one of those little electric things, I've done my kind of research on it, it doesn't use hardly any power whatsoever to charge, so once we've had the bonfire, uh, I'd look in the garden, I'm going to go down and uh, get a scooter. Anyway, welcome to this vlog. Well I got the bonfire going, it was a slightly windy day so I decided just to do a very small one and, and just take my time, get rid of the last little bits of wood and other rubbish and stuff. You know, it's slowly getting there. This is also something that's been a big bugbear is our windows are just so old. I mean they're, they're kind of just falling to pieces so we've got to get this sorted at one point which is going to be very soon and soon as now we uh, decided to use safe style uk a uh, little expensive but then all double glazing is however i did like the way they just got on it really quickly and they left no trace of rubbish it was as if they weren't there so really happy with that one Right, in the garden, time to pick some parsley. I'm going to be doing a pie and mash, old kind of London style, uh, pie and mash shop style with a parsley sauce or a sauce, or it will be a parsley liquor because I will add a little fish sauce to the parsley sauce and water it down just, you know, to make it a kind of cross between a parsley sauce and a parsley liquor, the type of thing they do in um, the old London shops. So yeah, first of all, got to make a roux. Melt the butter. Add the flour, stir it in slowly. And then gradually add milk, a little bit at a time till you get the consistency you want. I will throw the fish sauce in and also the parsley sauce. This isn't a cooking show, so I don't need to show you all that, but I'm gonna chop up the parsley that I've got from the garden, it's been washed, it's fresh, and bung that in the sauce. Bit of milk and butter in the mash, homemade, proper mash. Add all any lumps, scrape it on the plate, London style, pour the liquor over, sauce slash liquor, and enjoy. I'm ready for this. Well that went down a treat, absolutely lovely pie and mash, uh, the lovely kind of liquor gravy, absolutely beautiful. However, I have a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a moan to have because a few days ago I was watching Rick Stein on TV and I got inspired so I thought yeah let's um, knock up a fabulous fishy feast. So I put on my uh, chef's hat and chef's apron um, let's see what happened. Well I'm all set so let's get the boil in the bag out. This is cod in butter sauce, serves one person. Cannot wait, I'm starving. 
So what the hell is that? There's nothing left. I mean, for the purposes of this run, I've removed it from the plate. I've put a fork next to it so you can see the size. Basically, it's one forkful. Now, I know people say that, you know, it's all... I mean, this wasn't cheap. This was not cheap. And fish isn't cheap anymore. And they say, oh, that's because there's hardly any fish left. There's no tuna and there's no cod left. I mean, look at the state of that. Um, basically, there probably is loads left, but... The big seafood companies are paying millionaire, multi-millionaire celebrity chefs to go around saying, oh, sustainable fishing, this, that and the other, you know. Um, it's just to up the prices because they've probably been paid a big bin liner full of cash to say that. There's loads of fish left. I mean, look at the sauce. Now, I'm not going to name the brand just in case my YouTube channel gets big and they um, sponsor me to tell lies about how great their product is and then pay me big a big bin liner full of cash. Because that's what they do. They pay you in big bin liner full of cash. Now if I had a dinner party and I said, oh, it's going to be cod in butter sauce, I don't know what would be worse, serving this up to guests or having Jimmy Savile as the waiter. Mm, possibly Jimmy Savile. He has been a corpse for quite some time. But yeah, this is just diabolical. I mean, it says for, to serve one. I mean, uh, a portion for what? A midget? A dwarf? Um, I don't know, is that politically correct? A goblin? I don't know. But anyway, if you serve that up to Grumpy, he would be pretty grumpy. And if you served it to Happy, mm, he might be happy. Serve it to Sneezy, he'd probably sneeze and blow the lot all the sauce all over uh, Snow White's face. Got images of Jimmy Savile again then. But jokes aside, we work hard for our money and then you, you go out and you know treat yourself to something and you get ripped off. So you know, I think it's just it really annoys me when you get ripped off. I mean, you can see the size of that and you, it, it didn't it didn't come cheap so it really annoys me there's only one bloody thing for it well scooter time and got the scooters got a nine bot uh, here and also got another one the uh, eco the e-zinc now the e-zinc this particular one here is absolutely perfect just to commute to work and back um it's got smaller sort of wheels than the other one but it is so lightweight, it's just ideal for, um, I mean, I live about three quarters of a mile away from work, tops. So this one is perfect for just zoom into work and back, going to supermarkets. Uh, you can see the little charging port there. But going to supermarkets, local shops, cash points, all that sort of thing. The E-Zinc Eco is absolutely perfect. Lightweight, everything like that. Unfortunately, due to our rubbishy roads, the small tyres do create a little bit of a kind of bumpy ride. Uh, if you're hitting smooth pathways or whatever, or smooth road surfaces, brilliant. But unfortunately, the smaller wheels on the Eco does create a little bit of kind of bumpy riding. So, you know, we wanted to get two. One, um, just for just jumping on and zooming to the cash point and back, zooming to work and back. Uh, we know the surfaces are great and stuff like that, so that's the Eco. But the 9Bot, um, or whatever it's called, that is really... I mean, the Eco is, if you put a pin in my house and draw a two-mile kind of radius around, that's perfect for that. The 9Bot is perfect for what I'd class as fun, basically. Um, not just to commute to work or just to nip to the shops because like I say you when you nip to the shops and that with the smaller one you can just wheel it around and get your groceries and stuff like that but the other one is a little bit sort of heavy and cumbersome so like I say it's more for fun that's for cruising around I wouldn't want to sort of lug that around the shops or anything uh, it doesn't really do it justice in the difference in sizes but there is a big difference in size between the Eco and the Ninebot and that size and weight kind of matters when you're just nipping to uh, buy a pint of milk and you do not want to leave it outside, you want to carry it into the shop sort of thing. And, and the Eco, you can just quickly lift it, lift it up over the step, leave it in the shop and away you go. The other one, a bit heavy, but absolutely perfect. You know, the other one is a kind of five mile radius as opposed to, say, a two mile radius. 
you can jump on it it's much more comfortable it soaks up the bumps and you can just cruise anywhere so really happy with both purchases both fold down the eco a little bit stiff um, that, that particular thing but this folds down same as the other one that folds down a lot neater the other one is is better quality all round really both go 15 miles an hour and when you charge them it, it basically it's just like turning on the light the amount of electricity used so that's really good um, it doesn't sort of uh, spike your electric bill or anything like that and there you can see the smaller tires on this one um, got a kind of safety brake but I never use that I think it's best just to get used to the sort of manual controls on the um, on the handlebars okay that's it it's, this isn't a review it's just a quick overlook catch you later good morning it's a new uh, new day new morning it's a little bit chilly this morning um, I think the weather is starting to turn now which uh, isn't a bad thing I, I prefer the cooler weather to be honest but I'm just having a bit of um, breakfast and then I'm gonna nip down the gym breakfast consists of a protein shake and just a little mixture of the um, stuff that I had left over from yesterday so I've got a bit of egg scrambled egg bit of chicken bit of fish all mixed in just in a bowl really just get a bit uh, you know a ton of protein in me I won't video the <coughs> excuse me I won't video the gym footage um, and then after the gym I'm, me and um, the other half are gonna nip down um, Cosmo I call it Cosmo it's a buffet I think it's a uh, summer global buffet but they're up and running again now so and we haven't been out for a proper meal since lockdown uh, you know so uh, I shall video some of that and uh, get back to you later on I've already had my morning drink of sort of warm water with a couple of tablespoons full of apple cider vinegar and a, a teaspoonful of lemon juice in warm sort of uh, lukewarm water I also sometimes put a bit of honey in there and I try and have that every morning now because it kind of sets my stomach up right I'll be honest with you I'm not even hungry at the moment I'm just kind of eating for the sake of it because I haven't eaten yet and obviously if I'm going down the gym I do need to eat so this is one of those sort of forcing the food down moments and I want to build up an appetite and not eat too much um, as I say because we're going for a buffet so <clears throat> I also will take my vitamin C tablet as well voice is a bit croaky because it's quite early so okay I'll catch you later well just on the way to Cosmo um, it's not actually called Cosmo anymore, it's um, some or other global buffet, but I uh, hope you're hungry, see you inside. Say hello. Nice. Mm. Yeah, very nice. What did you have there? Um, bit of a mixture of fried food to start with. And, uh, yeah, then we'll move on to the um, Asian stuff. Nice bit of pork. Mm. Mm. Oh, lovely. Yeah. 
fried food than Asian food. Don't eat the Asian food too quickly. Fills you up too much. Although this will fill you up as well. Chicken noodle soup. Mm, so many good things in the tom yam, isn't it? Look. Right, but that's it for this particular episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, that food was absolutely gorgeous. Loved it. Um, so I'm just going to put my feet up and relax. So a uh, big thank you to all the people that have subscribed. Even bigger thank you to the ones that actually watch my content. Um, who leave comments and uh, interact a little bit. I must say I don't always I don't always get time to reply to the comments, but I try to. I try to reply to as long as they're you know nice sort of comments or creative comments. I try to reply back, but I don't always because I I don't always have the time. Um, despite being on YouTube doing these vlogs, I don't really spend a lot of time with uh, social media believe it or not I, I kind of don't go online that often so if I don't reply straight away I do apologize but I do try to or at least uh, read them all and, and leave a kind of a love comment a love heart thing whatever it is so yeah just thought I'd say that um, you know I, I come from I'm sort of older now I come from a, you know a different time when there wasn't any internet there wasn't any mobile phones so I, that's still kind of in me a little bit. I like to get out and about and not just sort of spend time on social media. So bear with me if I take time getting back to the comments. Let's get a quick drink. Um, a Red Bull or a knockoff Red Bull. It's the same with the mobile phone. I mean, to me, I don't spend a great deal. Of, uh, most, most of the time, my mobile phone's actually switched off and I turn it on just for certain things. Um, years ago, mobile phones were they were well, kind of like um, uh, a luxury, uh, an expensive luxury. Now, they're more of a pain in the butt because everything's linked into your mobile phone, all your bills, 
and all the your bank stuff and everything's kind of linked to your mobile phone so whereas before it was a lovely little luxury to be able to phone someone on the fly anywhere now it's a case of like all oh, right let's turn it on and you get all these bleeps whistles and bowels bleeping and chirping and you have to go through it all uh, and all it is is like your bills and, and bank things so to me now mobile phones that once were really good and now just a pain in the butt you know I dread turning on to see what stuff is going to come through so um, it's like the internet mobile phones I, I keep my mobile phone off most of the time and again I try to stay offline as much as possible despite doing these vlogs of course and watching a little YouTube and stuff I don't tend to spend that much time um, you know so doing social media and all this that and the other I do have Twitter I do have Facebook I do have Instagram but my Instagram's kind of rotting slowly away same with my Twitter I don't use it I'm not interested in tweets or tweeting and um, Facebook really is mm, kind of just used to keep in touch with a few people here and there and to um, upload my vlogs to as well so uh, just thought I'd mention that in case you think, oh, he's not commenting back and stuff like that. You know, I do try to. Anyway, that is it. I'm rounding this uh, vlog off. I'm going to relax. So, if you haven't subscribed, somewhere around here, hit the subscribe button. Yep, hit the notification bell, leave a thumbs up, all that jazz. Let's try and build my channel so that I get big bin liners full of cash. No, I'm only kidding. Now, I hope you enjoyed the content and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye.